Today on Pro Church Daily, we're talking about the five best royalty-free audio sites for churches. Well, hey there, and welcome to Pro Church Daily, the show where in 10 minutes or less, you're going to get a daily dose of tips and tactics to help your church share the message of Jesus while we navigate the biggest communication shift we've seen in the last 500 years. I'm your host, Alex Thrills, joined as always by the boss man, it's Brady Shearer, and today we're talking about the five best royalty-free audio sites for churches. Royalty-free audio, so useful in so many different capacities, Mm -hmm. most used as backing tracks in videos generally. And the distinction we should make with this video and with the title of this video is the distinction between free and royalty free. (laughs) These are paid sites that you have to pay for, but they will give you audio tracks that you can use royalty free. You can't just use a need to breathe song in your (laughs) video announcements. You cannot use that Hillsong track as the backing track for your mission trip summary video. That is illegal. And let's be honest, if you do a Google search for free, royalty free audio, your search results are gonna be pretty terrible. I've found that like, as far as free audio goes Mm. on the internet, it's pretty slim pick. There are databases that exist, but what's amazing about at least the first couple on this list that we're gonna share, you can now get really quality royalty-free audio at outrageously low costs. Mm -hmm. It used to be that if you wanted to get a track, you're gonna spend a couple hundred bucks. And we still do that sometimes, as we'll talk about. But now, you can pay really, really small sums of money to get access to giant databases of royalty-free music. I know the Need to Breathe track is awesome. I know that that new Hillsong track is awesome, but don't do things that are illegal because they are illegal. (laughs) (laughs) Royalty-free audio site number one, this is the one that we definitely use the most and most recommend, most frequently, soundstripe.com. Soundstripe.com was started by a pair of Christians from, I believe, Nashville, Tennessee, at least Mm -hmm. that's where I met them. And this was, as far as I know, also the first online platform that offered you unlimited stock music downloads Mm. for a monthly price. This was a big innovation because up until this point, the only way to purchase royalty-free tracks was a la carte. So you had to buy the one that you needed. What Soundstripe gives you is this colossal database of tracks that you can download as many as you want for a single, simple monthly cost. The cost as of this recording is $135 per year, or if you want to pay monthly, it'll cost a bit more, overall $15 per month. And in the age of social media video, YouTube, Insta stories, Facebook, even Twitter, using something like Soundstripe where you can get unlimited access to tracks is so helpful because we're now creating more videos than ever. Yeah. It used to be that my church would do you know four to six videos every year and these, they'd be these big profile pieces and we'd spend a couple of hundred dollars on the perfect backing track. Right. But now that we're creating videos multiple times a week, that is no longer cost feasible. Yeah. It's not efficient. And so a platform like Soundstripe Maybe the tracks aren't quite as high quality as you get on another more expensive site, mm-hmm. but the dis- the difference in in, pr- in uh, quality is negligible, right. and the, the pure volume of how many tracks that you can download is so much different. It just makes creating videos so much easier. You can search, categorize, download, upload. Don't have to worry about paying every single time. It's yeah. great. This uh, Of the five, this is the one I'm most familiar with because we use it almost every day here in the office. If you've ever watched one of our Insta stories on on the Storytape Instagram feed, it's likely that the the backing track there is a, is a track we found on Soundstripe. I love, there are a couple artists that I've found on Soundstripe that I love and I'm mm. always like just checking their stuff and, and seeing when they've uploaded new tracks and stuff. But something I've noticed, um, actually in my personal Insta stories, just using when I'm posting photos to my Insta stories, if I throw a backing track behind those photos, I've noticed that people are much more prone to watch through to the end of my stories huh. and engage more with my stories if I have music there. So that's very interesting uh, that I've noticed in my own personal account. Do you put like a sound up little gif so that they know to turn on the audio? No. Interesting. Yeah. Wow, yeah, that's why you test and, and you check things. Yeah. Uh, royalty audio site number two, artlist.io. Artlist is essentially an identical platform to Soundstripe. Uh, not that they copied Soundstripe or anything, but the model is the same. Okay. So I don't think they have a monthly cost. It's $199 per year. Mm-hmm. I know some people that really uh, prefer the music on Artlist. I think I prefer the music on Soundstripe. I also think Soundstripe is more affordable. And I also know that Soundstripe was started by two Christians that I've met and I like personally. And so I have no problem supporting them. Right. But Artlist is a very similar option. Cool. If you can maybe even afford both as a church, you're like, yeah. hey, look, we can pay 300 bucks for two catalogs of unlimited music. Yeah. Go for it. Awesome. Third 
track option premiumbeat.com and premiumbeat.com and the remaining two platforms we're gonna share, these are now all a la carte, royalty-free right. websites. So if you're gonna pay for a track, you're only gonna pay for one track, it's gonna cost that much money and that's all you get access to. Mm -hmm. The cost of one track on Premium Beat is more than the cost three, like, of three months of right. unlimited songs on a Soundstripe. So, but, the, but they're Premium Beat. They are, premiumbeat.com. It's $49 per track. Okay. Why do I love Premium Beat? We use Premium Beat for all of our video announcements because not only will they sell you the track itself, they'll also sell you the loops yeah. within the track itself. So you can download the full three minute track, but you can also download the eight loops that make up the track. And so for video announcements where we have a person talking on camera, we need a backing track, but the length changes every time. We don't wanna have like two different songs and we don't wanna have to loop it ourselves because yeah. that's a little more, you know, it just takes more time. Uh, we have these loops from Premium Beat and I can just put in, okay, I know that it's this long. I'll put eight loops here, eight loops here. Oh, I only need four loops, fade out and done. Awesome. And I've found that to be especially helpful for talking head videos. And again, you can buy those loops and you have them, yeah. use them. Fourth track we wanna share, uh, marmosetmusic.com. Marmoset Music and the fifth website on this list are gonna be the more expensive ones. Okay. So these are the websites that I go to when I need a super high quality track for a super special video and I haven't found the track that I'm looking for mm -hmm. on those other sites because I'm getting a lot more picky right. and I need something that will just you know hit the spot. I'm like, that's exactly it. Right, so you could be subscribed to something like Soundstripe you know, for $15 a month and always have access to their library, but you know, you know, this is our Easter video and I need a special track. I haven't found it in this library. You can go to you know, Marmoset or the fifth one that we're gonna talk about and say, okay, you know, for this video, I'm gonna buy this one track. I remember this happened during making a Christmas video recently where I was like, Soundstripe has a small selection of Christmas E type music, mm -hmm. but I need like a super special one. And I found it and I was like, that's the one. And I was willing to pay that extra because hey, this is our Christmas video. Like this is gonna yeah. be huge for us. The last time I used Marmoset was for podcast music. They also, they have a category for podcast music specifically. Oh, cool. And so that's the last time I went to Marmoset. Uh, and why I wanted to highlight them in this list because they're one of the few that has like that specific category. So if you need like an intro for your podcast yeah. and you know it's gonna be used very frequently and you want your intro to be perfect, yeah. they have a specific category dedicated to that. Awesome. Final website on this list is musicbed.com. And what's cool about Musicbed is that you can license directly from Hillsong, I think they're on there, yeah. if you want it. So if that one Hillsong track that you definitely needed for your video, you could license it legally from musicbed.com. They have tons of real artists on there. Similar to Marmoset, it's probably gonna cost you about $200 right. per track. They have a ton of different licenses based on the size of your organization, if you're a nonprofit or not, how where you're gonna use it, mm -hmm. internal, external, right. streaming, online, wherever, and that will influence the overall cost of your license. But I remember doing a testimony video where I couldn't find anything on Soundstripe, and I found a track on Musicbed, and I really felt like, this track brings together the entire story. Yeah. And so I paid the $200 for it because you know that backing track was gonna bring together the entire story and it was so important. So again, the more everyday use, I'm going to Soundstripe again and again, if I can't find something there, I'll elevate to one of the more expensive platforms yeah. and I'm willing to make that price uh, and make that payment because they have probably a little more higher quality tracks. Yeah, and it, to some of to some of you listening, especially working on a, a smaller church budget, you know, two hundred dollars for a track may sound like a lot of money if if you if you never bought. Royalty and it really you. is. Yeah, and but something you said just just there in reference to that to that last video um, and that track that you bought is important. Like sometimes, like music does play such a huge role in these videos that we're making. I heard someone say that 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 music. Uh, uh, penetrates the soul without permission mm. and it just there's just like this transcendent um, permission that music has to like tell its own story and sometimes you're gonna hear a track that like that you know really does tell the story that you're trying to tell visually in your Easter video yeah. and that's super important and sometimes you got to spend the money on it because it's really gonna help communicate whatever message you're trying to tell um, in this piece so 
So sometimes it's going to be worth it for you. The way that I find is like sometimes I'll just listen to a track and you're like, it's the one. And it puts you under this spell almost. And that kind of goes along with what you just said. And I want the audience to be put under that similar emotional spell. And so I feel like, you know, this has just got to be the one. So sometimes that's the way it is. Five websites that we hope you find helpful, finding royalty-free audio for your church. That'll do it for this episode of Pro Church Daily. We'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching today's episode of Pro Church Daily. If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel so you never miss another video and hit that church bell so you get notifications. And if you like this video, it really does mean the world to us if you go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.